Hey, this is Lonnie T at Gold's Gym Venice. It's February 2nd, 2010, and we're doing it all over again. I got a future superstar right here, the teen sensation. Tell the fans who you are, big guy. Uh, my name is Seth Sandler. Uh, I was born uh, and raised in Los Angeles, uh, 19. Uh, I'm looking forward to doing my first show, The Teenage California, uh, on May 29th. When's your, when's your birthday? Uh, November 29th of 1990. Good. That means you'll be eligible for the West Coast Classic on June 26th in the teenage category, if you choose to do so. Definitely. I'm sure your trainer, Omar Sanfro, will probably strongly encourage you to do that show if he wants me to interview him right now. Yeah, he's definitely been a big support, uh, helping me throughout throughout my training, and uh, uh, he's a big part of uh, why I'm uh, competing, and uh, I really love doing it, and uh, he's really uh, showing me the way. So, Well, I emceed this young man in 1991, the 1994 at the Cal, and I appreciate the compliment. You said that I haven't changed? You haven't changed at all. That means I really looked old in 1991 and 1994. Actually, you look really young right now. I don't care about the past. I'm not taking a cap off. <laughs> it may change if I take my cap off. <laughs> I don't think so, but you look great, man. Omar, listen, the last time I saw you, Arnold was throwing you around the bathroom. I think it was in True Lies. Yeah. Uh, let's get into what you've been doing in a minute, but I want to talk about this young man and uh, how much potential you think he has, how you hooked up, you know, and, and where you think he could be in two or three years. I think he has a great potential. Uh, not only uh, his body structure is great, um, he's uh, very motivated and passionate about the sport and he really wants to do it. He wants to win and he wants to be the best. He trains really hard and uh, where I come uh, is I show him how to train correctly, how to uh, work on the muscles, contract them and really get the most benefit out of his workouts. And then. Of course, all the mistakes I made, so he doesn't make them. What's your height and weight, by the way? I'm 5'10", 225. And what do you think when you step on the stage in Culver City in May, what do you think you're going to be? I like to be a, a very lean 215. 215. Did you play high school football? I did not, no. I was actually a basketball player. You were a basketball player, Beverly Hills High? I was. I used to play in that tournament many years ago. They had a Christmas basketball tournament over the swimming pool. Is that still like that? It is. It is. Really? It hasn't changed. Were you any good in basketball? I was. I had a, I had a mean shot, mean three-pointer. Did you start? Uh, no, I didn't. Okay, you weren't that good then. No, no. <laughs> I'm better at this. <laughs> You're better at this. <laughs> Okay, what do you think uh, the strengths, his strengths, obviously huge quadriceps, good calves, uh, huge upper body. Looks like he's got the whole package. Yes, yeah, so we worked on the weaknesses in the last two years. That's what we focused on, to build a body with proportion, good size, and symmetry. That's what bodybuilding is all about. Okay, now, uh, I talked about you being thrown around by Arnold in the, in the bathroom. Uh, don't take that the wrong way. This is, this is in a movie, True Lies, but you're still involved in the entertainment field. Why don't you give us an update of what you've been doing? I've worked on a short film, I produced it and acted in it called Jason Scott. Took him to the film festivals and um, and now I'm uh, going to do another short film this year. I'm going to produce it and act in it and I have um, a full script that I wrote with a writer. Do you, have, do you have any roles of a guy who's old but hasn't changed since 1991? Well, there's always interesting stories over, you know, in, in bodybuilding. A lot of people don't realize that. They all think it's about sets and reps and how much do you bench and how much do you squat. But a lot of people like yourself are branching off the entertainment industry. I just talked to Rico McClinton. He's been doing some acting and getting some film work going. But there's a very interesting story, uh, way more than meets the eye between you and Seth. Uh, yeah, I've, uh, I've trained his dad uh, about 17 years ago um, and uh, his dad uh, had a, a great physique and uh, great discipline and he was uh, in great shape. I mean, he still is. I mean, uh, and uh, I remember uh, he was talking about Seth when he was one year old. Um, How thick he was. <laughs> uh, uh, that I do not know, but uh, yeah, it's uh, just training the family. and. Um, it's, uh, it's great. Well, my question is, and I really am his dad to let you in on this. I am his dad. No, I'm just kidding. I'm not his dad. But 
My question for this, for you, Ofer, is does this make you really good about this tie-in or does it make you feel really old when you find out that you're training this gentleman's son who used to be one and now he's 19? I don't really think about age. It's about uh, giving back to the uh, client, giving back to the people, and uh, the better they get uh, with my experience, the better it is. You got abs? I got some, yeah. We see some abs right now? Well, you got a lot of hair. The hair looks good. The hair looks good, man. Uh, you if know, you could put some of that on my head. That's part of being Middle Eastern. <laughs> oh, okay. All righty. This is Lonnie T for IronManMagazine.com. Over. Under. Out.